What's up everybody? My name is Chandler Jenkins. Today is a very exciting day. Today is the debut of the CBJ Fishing YouTube channel. Really excited about this and you know with everything that's going on in the world right now I've had a lot more time to fish and it's really helped spark this idea of coming out here to ponds, lakes, you name it and videoing myself fishing and including tips, tricks, incorporating new challenges, you know with any type of you, hard bait, soft bait, crazy baits, rods, just doesn't matter, you name it. Put some stuff in the comment section and I'll do my best to get, to get to it and include those in my videos along with anything that I can think of. You know, I've been influenced by some other channels such as Kicking Their Bass TV and Lake Fort Guy. So I highly recommend you guys going to check out those videos and I'm gonna do my best to make these videos as entertaining and as, and as exciting as those guys make their videos. So hit the like button, hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel I can't wait to have you guys along this journey, so let's get fishing. We ran into the kitchen in there, but that was the best cast of the day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A little bitty one on the plopper. Look at that. Little guy. I really hope he doesn't jump. Because if he does, he's going to tear my fingers up. What the fuck? Now I got myself up. Come on. There we go. Little guy. Nothing, nothing big, but it's a fish. All right, buddy. Thank you. Take off. There he goes. Okay, so we decided to switch ponds. The first pond, while it was a good pond, we didn't do too hot there. We did get one fish, so we didn't get we didn't get skunked, and that's the main thing when you go fishing. You know, the job is to fish. If you catch one, it's maybe may not be the most successful day, but at least it's successful and you did what you were going to do. So we're at a new pond now. We're actually at my aunt and uncle's pond. I know this pond is loaded with fish. So we're gonna get out here. We're just gonna throw a lot of soft plastics. Probably gonna tie on a frog. 
The weather is way better. It's up to about 85 now. Later in the day, I'm probably going to tie on a frog just because I can't help myself. I can't not throw it. So, And I've had a lot of hits here with a frog. Actually, the first time I threw it, I got probably about 15 hits on it. So hopefully this afternoon, later tonight, it'll, the top water game will pick up. But we're going to throw a lot of soft plastics around, and we're going to catch us some fish, and we're going to have a great time. All right, so what I'm doing is is the first soft plastic I'm throwing today, maybe the only one, it just depends. It's the Zoom Baby Brush Hog. This thing is stellar, and I highly recommend you having a couple, pack, a couple packs of these on you, whether you're at a pond or on a boat. These things are awesome. Love using them, and they really love eating them here in this pond. I'm seeing a lot of jumps already, so let's get my hopes up about the top water game, but let's throw this out there and see if we can't get some Get some bass on the bank. I got some cousins that I believe, I got a little paddle boat that I usually take out here, but I got some cousins who I believe, younger cousins, that they are gonna take it out. So when they get done, we're gonna hop on it and we're gonna be, it's good, we're gonna be in a lot better situation just from the angles that I'll be able to fish from. And I'll be able to fish from, you know, by pulling the bait from the bank out to the middle. So, so let's get started. Oh, I hear you over here, buddy. Over here hopping around everywhere. By the way, there's if there's noise in the background, it's just my aunt and uncle and they've got some friends over. They're awesome, so. And if I hook a fish. <clears throat> Looks like the whole family's here. My other cousins are here. Holy cow. I didn't get my thumb down on time, so tiny backlash. Nothing we can't fix. Okay, here we go. Let him run with it. I hit the tree. That's not good, boys. And viewers, I hit the tree. Uh, come on, stay down here. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Sorry if the camera fell. He wasn't getting off, whatever it was, if this was the fish that hit last time. He ain't getting off. This, he didn't get off that time. There we go, a little. Okay, this is answering my question about this pond, if they were still spawning or if they moved up to post spawn, but I don't know if you can see the belly. This fish is definitely a spawn fish. She's chunky and got, she's about to lay her eggs out there, but look at that. Look at that. I love those, which by the way, we're not gonna pull any five, six pounders out of here. Most of them, pound and a half, two pounds, but they fight like crazy and they're still fun to catch. So first fish of the day, monkey's off the back. Let's keep it going. Let her back so she can, look at that. There we go. And I did not bring my rag. Yeah, why not? When I set the hook, I hit the tree beside me. And the dumb part was, which there's a little tip you can take from it. 
when you set the hook in the fish, like whichever way you set the hook, don't do it the same way the fish is running like I just did. But doesn't matter. Even though I hit the tree, I still got the hook hooked through and they weren't, but the way that fish jumped, it definitely wasn't coming off. So let's get this towel. There we go. All right, let's keep it going. Okay, so I apologize for the uh, camera falling on that last fish I caught. I just got this chest harness for to hold to hold my phone because I didn't buy a GoPro. I haven't bought a GoPro yet, but I got this harness to hold my phone, so I do. So when I set the hook, I hit it with my hand and it fell straight down. So I apologize that you didn't get to see me reel the fish in and the fish exploded out of the water, which was always a cool shot. So I do apologize for that. So we're just getting used to it. I raised it up some, so maybe this time I won't completely hit it. I might bump it, but I won't just full fledged knock it to where you can't see me reeling the fish in. But let's get back out there. So, told you that brush hog is a good bait. I absolutely drilled that tree with my rod. May have to start letting these fish run more. Dang, this brush hog's about destroyed already. It's one thing about these brush hogs that I thoroughly enjoy. You can catch about three or four fish on before you need to get a new one. They're very durable. Throw back out there. If I don't get in the tree, I got in the tree. Sorry, right, we get that off. Maybe not. Oh wow, nice. Fell off. Apparently they're biting down there too, because he just had one come off. when we get old Junior to bite again. I see the camera didn't move that time. I mean, it moved, but it didn't get jarred. <clears throat> Throwing a Senko is on the lily pads and pulling it off like to fall is a really awesome technique because when that thing goes down, it's, it's fluttering, it's sending off a lot of vibration and it falls slow and it just drives bass crazy because it's a simple snipe form. It's like, oh, there's a little worm falling. And that's when you jacked your jaws. I didn't get it as far out as I would have liked, but see what happens. Also, they have all seemed to vacate the pond, so we might be hopping in the boat.
thing a little too shallow right there. There she is. The old paddle rocket, the old Sun Dolphin 5000. It's actually a Sun Dolphin 5, but since I fish out of it, I upgraded it. But let's get her in the water and get to cruising around. And we're out here. I just saw a fish splash right there, come up and hit something on top. So I think we're gonna make a quick cast there and then work our way around the perimeter of the pond. Let's see. So the beauty of this thing too, I can stand up in it. So what we can do here. Could have been swallowing. Could have been a little baby, but. Waiting for him to hit out in the open so I can just flip this thing right there on top of him. Okay, well, they stopped hitting the brush hog, so we're going to throw this Yamamoto Senko. Best Senko in the game. Normally I throw the baby bass color, but we're gonna go with this purple emerald flake because it's all I got. They ate all my, they had all my natural color one. So let's put this thing to work. Well, other than crap that I just about poop myself, I don't know what they're doing up there, but my, I about to wet my bridges. Pain in my butt whenever they get stuck to the front of my, to my hook. See, prime example, man. Flipping lily pads. <gasps> so I said that one would have been. I'm throwing back in there. He gonna bite again. Come on. Of course, that time I set the hook and. Camera don't move. Yeah, I told you he's gonna bite again. I can't I can't get a hook set because of these lily pads. This time he's probably gonna swallow it before I set the hook. I gotta hurry up and get this back in there before he says no, I don't want that. I spooked him right there. Nope. We got him at time. He ain't getting off. Hooked him right in the top of the nose, pinned him. Whew. He's little. And he's been maybe. <laughs> Either I did that a minute ago, or someone hooked him today. Let's see if I can get this to. Look at that little one. But, hooked him right in the top. That's about a perfect hook set right there. If you can get him in the top, that's a perfect hook set. Because I decided to let him run that time, and someone ripped his jaw clean off. But we're gonna let this guy back in the water. And he just shit. Yeah. Maybe here in a minute. I about, I wouldn't expect, I about wet myself. I 
Yeah. No, it's fine. It was funny. I started laughing. Go. So, throw up there. Put this thing back in the water. Oh, come on. Come on. What? Oh. See, I did it again. Did it again, did it again, did it again. See, what happened was, it was about a, maybe a month ago, they were hitting it so hard that by the time I could get the hook set, they were swallowing it. So now I'm quick on the trigger. We're getting back in there though. Come on, you little sucker. Hit it. Also a worm. But I watched him come over and hit it. Oh, oh, ah, this little sucker's feisty. Got him in the top again. Whew. Oh my gosh, dude. Chill, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> he just hooked himself harder than he was. Look at that. He is not happy. Little man syndrome. Ooh, yeah, he ain't happy. But thank you for biting, thank you for playing. Now, take off. We're gonna work kind of quick. So, hopefully we can, if we can get, well, we should, should have had seven fish, but if we can get five. Sink it a little bit, give that fall on action. I love competing. That's why I love fishing so much. It's me against the bass or whatever fish I'm going up against. Get back in here in this cove. It's gonna be hard to see my line because all the shadows. So we may throw the headlamp on just so I can see my line. Get that out of there. Let's throw it over here. See if this guy's been jumping a lot too. geese. I don't know if you can see them. We got some geese over there with some little ducklings. Uh-oh. Let them run and go. Keep your rod down so we don't hop more than the art wants to. Boom. Number four. He ain't happy either. Oh, yeah. A little hook set. I don't know if you can hold on. I'll fix the camera. Get a hold of him. Woo! He ain't happy. I wouldn't be either if I had a hook in me. He's kind of down in here. That's to say, let him run with it. I want these right there. Other hand. I'm about to pop this one out. Maybe not. I don't know. It's not as good. There we go. Whew. I had him good. Look at that. Nice, nice fish, nice coloring down the side. 
Thanks, buddy. Got the release. Yeah. All right, so we just finished up for the night. We turned a slow start this morning and do a really good afternoon. We got four here, missed about four or five. It was really good fishing. <clears throat> I actually tied a topwater frog on at the end. I had to cut the camera off because it was dark, and even though I had a headlamp, you wouldn't have been able to see what I was doing, so that would have been pointless to put that out. But I did get a hit on that, and I'm really glad that the weather's warming back up because we've had wacky weather, so now if we can get that water temperature to stabilize, that topwater game's really going to get cranking, and I'm really excited about getting those videos out too. So with that being said, <clears throat> it was a great debut. I'm really excited. Please subscribe to the channel. It's CBJ Fishing. Please hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Please drop a comment now in the comment section. I know Monday we're going to get back out here with my dad and my brother and have a family competition. It should be really exciting to see who catches the most fish, and it's going to be really good content. So please stay on the lookout for that. So with that being said, I'm really thankful for all this, all the support. Please subscribe. Please follow along, and we will see you on the next episode.